Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about Buddy.Works, which is a deployment service that really will make it easier and faster, for that matter, to get your code out to the world and make sure that it's working, it's production ready. We're going to talk a little bit about the services they offer and how they can help you with your app, with your projects and your side projects and your, your main projects, for that matter. <laughs> So Buddy, I keep on saying Buddies, Buddy main goal here is to make your deployments quick and easy. And so they focus quite a bit on simplicity. You can see as they're sort of walking through this animation here of what's going on. But their simplicity leads it to be on average less than 10 minutes of configuration to get up and running with a very intuitive, very nice UI UX as you can see from here and as someone who's worked with a couple similar systems but not quite the same um, this is definitely a much cleaner much nicer way of going about it and they have over 100 predefined actions which I'm sure we'll talk about as we sort of go down here um, part of the so what is a predefined action slash inter integration well um, it means that they have a bunch of pre-built functionality such as um, you know caching such as um, being able to integrate, um, you know, unit testing to your build paths and, and items like that to make sure that you're you're doing everything you need it to be. And it's all automated, right? So um, once you set it up, it's sort of set it and forget it until you want to make additional changes, which is really nice. And um, and you can see here that they have a lot of great stats. Um, they have a five times on average. Uh, times five lower failure rate after deployment um, when using their system. 37 minutes of more uh, time daily on new features. And so with their intuitive system, you no longer have to really focus too much on managing your DevOps application, which is something that's becoming more and more and more of a challenge. As someone who seems like, you know, we have entire roles dedicated to this nowadays, and it's made it not every team can hire a DevOps engineer and not every project can have someone who is an expert in it or, you know, needs that for the, you know, one or two or three times setup and modification. And it makes it significantly easier and gives 37 minutes back to a dev uh, on daily tasks. Um, and you can see they have various cra carefully crafted actions, as I mentioned, uh, integrations, um, and you can sign up for free to check out some of this using your GitHub, Bitbucket, and of course emails. And um, you know they're shipping new features, and you can see the most recently they're passing parameters between actions. And a uh, cool thing about their their site is if you want to learn more, they have plenty of details about it. So you can see things like their their pricing. Um, relatively, it's a fairly affordable thing. Um, you know, they have a free account as well for those of you who uh, are just getting up and going. So you can ha uh, get accustomed to it up to five projects and a 500 megabyte cache. You know, one of the cool things about their um, setup is they only when uh, they only ship files that have been changed, right? They don't need to upload the whole repo every time it goes out, which is really, really nice. And one of the many features and you can see as this breaks down, they're going to give you all the details in here in their pricing to break down, um, you know, how they integrated and support native uh, Docker natively. And, uh, you know, they, they of course have um, additional docs and guides in here. And as someone who's in the recent years gotten somewhat familiar with um, the intricacies of shipping code and creating the pipelines and creating automation and how version control works with that, how YAML files work with that. And it looks like they're using a, a YAML file for some of their configuration. Um, you know, there's quite a bit to know environment variables and they have documentation for all that to get you up and running. So if you're looking for a uh, tool to help you and with your shipping of code and your DevOps, uh, make, make it so that you don't have to be a DevOps uh, expert uh, check out buddy.works and give them a shot. All right, so let's go ahead and show real quick how we can do a nice little 14-day trial. 
So we're going to go ahead and use uh, GitHub real quick to create our account real nice and easy. Excellent. And now we can do something as you see, we have all our repos sort of hooked up here and it's as easy as selecting. Let's take our 100 algorithms challenge course, for instance, it's going to synchronize with GitHub and we can create a brand new pipeline where we want to set what trigger mode. Hey, when we update, uh, when we push some new code to uh, master, presumably now we're defining, um, let's say, um, uh, let's just say this, uh, we want to call this pipeline standard build. Taking a name, we'll say, hey, we want to trigger it manually whenever our branch goes up. In this case, it's a single branch, but it looks like you can define multiple ones. And we can add a new pipeline here. Now, this pipeline's uh, relatively small. Us uh, going to be simple because we're not really doing too too much with it. But they have some suggestions on what you want to. Uh, what you want to have so one cool thing here is that you can see like say you have a slack channel that's hooked up you could select this and then when a new build goes out you can fire off a message um, you know you can also set up things where oh hey when this pipeline goes go ahead and do something else or pass some arguments here um, find and replace um, HTTP request maybe you need to do an angular CLI command so let's say that mine mine was angular you could see like okay cool for this we need to run our install so this is going to install our dependencies and then we're going to run our test we could add something like this and um you know there's other there's other actions to go along with this so this would be a, a great example action that you might do where hey go ahead and run our test and go on from there um what else do we want to do uh action runs on failure so you can also set up actions here to con continue to do other items so that like, oh, it fails, do something. So it's very verbose in that sense. Uh, what else they got here? Split test. So that's kind of cool. You can run some tests and not others. Custom build, Ember CLI. So you see depending on what sort of framework you're using or technology they have elixir go node meteor uh i know eric eric <laughs> had uh hanchet's pretty big a scala.net uh would be one that i've i would i've used in the past webpack god knows you need webpack at times you can uh deploy as well to your various spaces here you have your amazon web services docker so this is something i've i've done in the past with um building pipelines is had to have our Docker containers rebuild and be destroyed and things like that so that we make sure ES lint. Oh my goodness. I like that. That'd be one I would add to make sure our code quality and review is good. So I like that. I like that a lot. Um, uptime monitor. That's kind of cool. Uh, find out how much is up and you can send out some SMS texts, although it's going to cost you a quarter and discord messages as well so you can always notify your teammates when stuff goes out so you can see how quick and easy you're, you'd be able to set this up and uh, just sort of work your way through as you would um, get going with your you know in my case my standard build as we continue to add additional things but they have quite a bit to choose from hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers i i actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well there's a link in the description to get it for just 9.99